Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynut and welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We're still here in uh, Color's basement and uh, during editing of the previous episodes I found out a few things that I didn't realize while I was playing. Mainly uh, regarding the energy bar. If I activate a power, I actually reduce... There's a startup cost for activating any power and that reduces the maximum that white line on the blue bar uh, to which it can fill during the use of that power the blue just drains but it will refill up until the white line again uh, completely it doesn't really matter uh, the only thing that reduces your maximum is activating a power not how long you're using it for that time so that's really interesting I also found out I think I'm gonna check in the menus I think there's an option to show the objective marker and that it's uh, off by default for some reason so let me check that so indeed my objective marker was off so because now you can clearly see where I need to go so that will make things easier I'm gonna look around a bit in here there's a guitar here I can use don't know what that does just make some noise uh, what else is there is there anything I can use there's neuropolzine that's the drug we can uh, sell probably because Jensen is the only uh, augmented human that doesn't need Neuropozine to... Uh, I'm gonna pick that up in a second. To, uh, well, keep them, them, their bodies to reject from rejecting their augments. So let's read the ebook really quickly. World's most wanted, the Diwali family. So that's the thugs that were uh, upstairs. China's gang problem still holds second place to the criminal activity raging in the Slavic regions. Worse, the lines defending the Russian underworld have blurred since the formation of the Federated States in 2016, with many of their desperate neighbors swelling the Russian Mafia to levels never seen before. But for the latest and largest waves in the criminal underworld, you need to head further west to the restless Czech Republic to run into the gang of our top spot for the deserved reputation of world's most wanted, the Diwali family. In 2003, Levan Diwali, son of founding father and brutal crime lord Jacob, left his hometown of Batumi, Georgia and set up criminal shop in Prague. The Diwali have been in violent control of the European underworld ever since. With the rule of blood that members can only be of direct Georgian descent, Levan Diwali has continued his father's brutal legacy by thus expanding their ruthless criminal family and redefining what it means to be a gang in the 21st century. So, uh, clearly of uh, Georgian descent, the Diwali family is the, well, the most infamous group of gangsters in town. Uh, what's this? Reveal hacking, reveal software. I don't know what that does. I'm going to have to check that out in the inventory screen. Doable stuff. Let's check out the drawers. Another hyperstim injector. That's always nice. Stamp processor chip. Can sell all that apparently. Anything else? Let's access the computer. And there's a few emails. House call from Radich. Wasn't that. I don't know. I have been experiencing some strange symptoms since my last visit with you. This is unacceptable. You will do something about this, yes? I will be expecting you tonight. Ask for Miroslava. She will bring you to me. And then from Montana Jones. Uh, maybe I'll read the first mail first. Shit, Monty, what are you trying to do to me here? Shut me down, invade my sleep, give me even more nightmares. Two of those new orgs you dropped off, they still had organics attached. Now, you know I never ask questions. Questions are scary. Questions are bad. But when I see pieces of tissue clinging to a pedo array, the questions I don't ask start invading my eyeballs. I'm not a fucking harvester, man. And then, I know, I know, I didn't know what else to do with the machinery. Poor fuckers were killed by the cops and I didn't want this stuff to end up in some evidence locker or whatever. This is what they would have wanted. V. So, uh, Kohler's uh, first name. At least this way, this way it goes to help our people in some way, right? Monty, Montana Jones. And then let's talk from Otar B. At the family. The other one was also from At the family. Mr. Kohler, recently you ordered some equipment through us, very special medical equipment from China. Normally I do not ask our clients why they want the things they ask us to get for them, I simply negotiate terms and move on. The terms you negotiated, however, were not done through me, and for that reason they remain unclear. 
I do not like business that isn't clear, so before I hand over your merchandise, you and I will need to talk. Come to the casino, or I will send my men to escort you here. Mr. Botkovelli. Okay then. Uh, anything else I need to find in here? Probably. I probably missed a few things already. Uh, I'll check out the inventory in a second, but I'll first check out the rest of this place. There might be other things I can use. I can talk to Kolo, so Vaklov is his first name, by the way. Uh, anything here? Ooh, medical box. More biocells, always handy. Beer. Let's check out the newspaper. Resolution 3507, a problem for all. If you're augmented, you must be aware that the United Nations are sleeping peacefully at night beneath the cover of their olive branch with dreams of stripping you of your rights and dignity. What paper is this? What paper is this? Shamiz... Shamizdat? Samizdat? I don't know how to pronounce that. The UN's Resolution 3507 is an obscene moral betrayal. Rutgers R's ARC are rightfully attacking the insidiously labeled Human Res Restoration Act, that's what we uh, heard the Illuminati talk about, for going against the very things the United Nations supposedly stand for. Without a control chip inserted for good behavior and official papers congratulating you on your loss of rights, Resistant orgs will be promptly herded into more suitable accommodation, courtesy of their local law enforcement. Welcome to Gollum, citizen. But what if your all-natural, 100% prime society stake? It doesn't affect you, does it? Consider this. 13 elected individuals have ruled that over 7 million human beings must give up their livelihoods without appeal to be licensed and monitored as if criminals, and I'm guessing you weren't asked for your opinion. Augmented or not, who will be the next inscrutable world power summarily judge as problematic? Resolution 3507 puts the world on notice that organization likes, or organizations like the UN feel they can do what they wish. It's time to tell them otherwise or become the next pariah on Vogue. We have been warned. So the Human Restoration Act is used to uh, register all augmented people apparently. And then Panchea, that's the uh, island the final level of human revolution was at Panchea. At the bottom of the deep blue secrecy. In 2027, Panchea was humanity's titanic plan to save the world. A 1.5 kilo kilometer deep installation plunging to the bottom of the Arctic Ocean. Built by a 100% augmented workforce, it was our hopeful answer to climate change. Until it mysteriously blew up on the day of the orcs when the orcs went crazy, so the incident. Two years after the incident, it remains conveniently unclear what happened at Panchea. Amidst conflicting reports of human remains, corporate sabotage and radioactive salvage, we wait for the official truth, engineering failure or another augmented horror story. More and more, Panchea feels like a trillion dollar hole in which to hide a trillion dollar secret. So that's the uh, paper, the fancy paper. I'm gonna throw a defibrillator. Uh, what else do we have here? Probably still the defibrillator. There's more neuropozine. Uh, that looks like another medical box, yeah. Multi-tool. So that's the thing, I've read that in the previous episode, that we can uh, automatically open locks with. Uh, crafting parts, always handy. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Trashman, I can move around. Use holographic display table. Holy. Okay. That's cool. Can I turn that off again? Apparently not. Comes without an off button. Uh, and then we have nothing, I think. Um, so aside from that, we could go out the way we came, I think. But it's probably best to take this back access. Uh, maybe check out the inventory first for the things that I didn't really understand and to upgrade our uh, skills because we can do that right now there we go, inventory so if I check out the beer, whatever does that used to recover a small amount of health at the cost of impaired vision okay, so that's what beer does apparently hydraulic micro pump, painkillers that's not what I wanted to check out oh, here it is reveal software, examine Reveal software traces and reverses the subroutine defense commands deploying fork systems, relisting the entire network into clear view. It uses non-invasive algorithms to quickly detect and map out the structure of a hidden network. 
So we can use that while hacking, I think. Lifts a fog that hides a subnet's nose. Yeah, I think we can use that while hacking. And then the stamp processor chip. This item has no other functionality than its monetary value, so we can sell that as well. And we have another multi-tool, so I think we can also upgrade our inventory space a bit, because now we're pretty cramped. Uh, although we have a lot of booze here, which we may, might be able to sell. But that will be for in a second. And then, of course, we have 11 Praxis points. So we got all the Praxis points back Praxis points back we lost apparently. So I'm gonna activate a few things immediately. I want the Icarus landing back. So give me that. Oh, I need to Praxis for that immediately. But I want that back. That's really, really handy. Humanity Plus, another trophy. So no activation required and hold a circle while descending to activate the Icarus Strike, which uh, incapacitates everybody around me. And I think that's non-lethal. Yeah, loss of consciousness in nearby individuals. So that's one I really want back. Um, I want smart vision back as well. So highlight nearby targets on the field of view. Pretty high energy consumption apparently, but I want that back. Uh, so we can see through walls. And what's this? Highlights useful items with the confines, within the confines of the smart vision's area of effect. Not really that handy. Slightly reduces smart vision energy consumption. No activation required and it lowers... Yeah, it lowers the energy consumption. So I want to use that frequently, so I'm going to use that as well. I still have six points left right now. Um... The rebreather is also a really good idea, but what do the energy converters do exactly? Transform organic energy sources into electrical energy and stores in biocells. The delay time between biocell depletion and regeneration. So it reduces that. Um, enhanced capacity for biocells. Increase the maximum storage capacity of the biocells, which is of course really handy. And this is improving the recharge rate. So I'm gonna enhance my battery size first. There we go. And then up the recharge rate once. Uh, what else do we have? The social enhancer. It's also really nice, of course. Hacking stealthy. The info link we already have. The wayfinder radar system. How can we boost that? Let's play remaining time of target's alarm state. That's what we have. Project the location of nearby walls and solid objects onto the radar. Vision feedback. Display target's field of view on the radar. That was really handy. Visual representation of ourselves and extends the radius of the map. One praxis for the vision feedback. Okay, so that just... Display target's field of view on the radar. Because that's not standard, apparently. The location, but not the field of view. So I'm going to use the field of view as well. Uh, and how much is the social enhancer too? Because I think we're going to be able to use that as well. Since we're going for non-lethal, I think the uh, option for the social enhancer will be greatly appreciated. So now we can... Uh, dominate conversation through chemical manipulation and strategic speechcraft allows the user to persuade and interrupt during our conversations. No activation required, the augmentation will switch on automatically when warranted. So we can uh, more greatly, well, interrupt uh, conversations, steer conversations the way we want. Okay, let's head outside here. What's this? Door. Okay. And that should allow us to go back outside I suppose there's a dead guy over here Camille Horak even has a name so there's nothing here but I'm gonna pick up his pistol what's this pocket secretary so let's uh, read that Camille Horak hey Camille sorry to hear about the eviction from Kohler itself himself fucking bastards there's a storage area behind my shop you can keep some of your stuff in there the door code is 1984 <laughs> okay the george orwell uh, classic 
hell you can stay there if you need to, just make sure you keep it to yourself, I don't like unwanted visitors. Good luck, so there's a storage area behind my shop. It's not here probably. And the code is 1984, so... Studio back, I can search that, so... We probably can access that in a minute. Okay, open the manhole cover and pop Judson, out! It's Miller. Listen, I need your eyewitness report as soon as possible. What's your ETA? Depends on how many cops ask to see my papers. Fuck. Not much I can do about state police after yesterday's attack. Get in when you can. Miller out. Okay, so apparently everybody is gone here, so I might as well take the time to uh, look around at the place. I'll uh, probably cut out most of this, but uh, see you guys in a second. So there's a lot of loot around here, so it definitely pays off to uh, check every cabinet, because I found a lot of stuff already, mostly ammo and uh, some bio cells. So there's another ebook here, The Social Monitor, The New Mystics. In the wake of the Org incident, the tide of chaos and confusion has swept up most of the world's population. It has left many searching for meaning and turning to fate in increasing numbers. Most flock to established regions, but many others opt for less mainstream organizations. Professing to bring solace to the Augmented, several pro-augmentation quasi-religious groups have sprung up to join long-established sects such as the New Christ Initiative 2019 and the Singularity Church of the Machine God 2016. Not unsurprisingly, neo-luddist and anarcho-primitivist primitivist sects have also emerged, capitalizing on and often spreading the fear of augmented humans. The issue now faces us, how to discern the organizations truly looking to bring comfort to the masses from the many opportunists who are only too willing, who are only too willing to take advantage of the credulous in time, times of turmoil. So yeah, indeed. There's probably a lot of uh, opportunists going around trying to take advantage of the fear that people have for augmented humans. So there's a computer here as well. Uh, it is the time machine. I don't have a password, I think, so let's try and hack this thing. Security rating 1, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I can reveal, but I don't really need that here. Um, so that's probably the way to go. So let's go there first. Because now we don't see which way we need to go and we kind of actually hack Access this thing without granted. activating the alarm. I can only fight enemies I can see, another trophy. Okay, from uh, Vintage Book Finders, Mr. Buranek, I regret, regret to inform you that the shipment of rare printed books that you and I worked so hard on acquiring for the Time Machine was indeed traveling, the Time Machine is the name of this uh, bookshop by the way, was indeed traveling to Prague on train F451 from Austria yesterday. This train was due to arrive in the early morning hours, chances are it was already parked in Ru Ruzika station waiting to be unloaded when the ter terrorists' bombs went off. I have attempted to contact the Czech Republic's transport authorities to learn more, but until Ruzik Ruzika's fire chief gets back to me, it's best to assume all of the books have been lost. Regretfully yours, our Brad Burry Vintage Book Finders, specialists in paperback antiquities. So that's too bad for Kohler. Uh, China order from Ratman at Tmail. Camille, I checked on that package for you. The stuff from China your boss had you order for him came in last week, but Mr. B's been sitting on it, said your boss needs to drop by the casino and pick it up himself. Don't know what's going on, bro, but you might want to call in sick tomorrow. Uh, we already saw the mail from Mr. B. And then Cam. So Cam is probably the guy that works here. Look, man, I don't care what it costs. You need to hook me up with Collar. I know he's eccentric. I know he's no limb clinic. And I know he deals in both sides of the law. But fuck, right now we orcs are on, are on the wrong side of the law. My enhancements are degrading, man, and I know it. Think he can fit me in? I don't care about crossing checkpoints or whatever, I just have to see someone. The guy at the makeshift clinic here is useless. Mal. It's not really that much more information. Uh, I got a bit of experience points for uh, checking that. I think there was another newspaper here as well. There we go. And I think that's the same newspaper we've seen uh, in Kohler's office. 
So a uh, police blunder leads to mistrial for the, the Volley crime family and the rogue arms dealer killed in Dubai is of course uh, something we did because uh, that's the mission we did in Dubai to uh, take down Shepard. Not that we did that but uh, well the, the effect was the same. So I'm gonna look around a bit more uh, so I'll see you guys in a second again. So maybe the most interesting thing if we go back to the office where we uh, entered the dungeon there's actually a stun gun hidden behind the painting here. I need to drop something to grab it because uh, I really would like a stun gun. I wonder how big it is, how much space it takes. And I'm gonna use the, the stun gun more than this. Uh, so let's drop this. Discard, there we go. So I dropped the shotguns over there. Uh, I don't really need that right now, but that's really handy. I think I didn't read that ebook here as well. Crouching Dragon has the single largest nation state in Earth with the biggest population of augmented humans. The mayhem wrought by the AUG incident had the potential to virtually cripple the People's Republic overnight. But more than any other nation in the world, China was ready for an event on the scale of the AUG rampage and it moved swiftly to contain and eradicate the rioters with lethal intent. While there was substantial loss of life and damage to infrastructure, the PRC have been quick to rebuild and regain the momentum they lost. Civilian unrest and demands for explanations have been silenced and state-controlled media ensures that the blame for the events of 2027 remain firmly on the shoulders of the West. So China uh, took care of that rather quickly apparently. So more hacking software uh, and that's about it I think. So I'm gonna head back outside uh, and see you guys there in a second. And then of course we had that storage area that Note mentioned behind the shop and on the right side of the shop we have it right here. So the keypad is unlocked apparently. Oh no, this is where we... yeah, this is where we came in, right? Yeah, okay. That's not really something we were looking for, right? Or is there something else here too? There's another pocket secretary right here. Camille Horak. So that's the guy that works here from uh, Ina Barrick. Dear Mr. Horak, we regret to inform you that your augmentation license has expired and as such you will be evicted and relocated to the Utulek complex until a permanent and safe residence can be found for you. So he has been struck by that Human Restoration Act, apparently. So there's the way we could exit. Um, pick up. We might be able to drink that up. Uh, but this isn't the door we could... I wonder where that key... That code was used for. Because I haven't found anything else. Because the keypad over there on the side is open. And I don't see anything else they would be talking about. Because that's probably the storage area, right? Delivers... Yeah, delivery entrance. Okay, never mind. We checked all this out and... No need to be here anymore. Okay, let's head back out, and uh, I first want to do that corruption quest actually, so give me a second to check out the menus. So we have three side missions, we have the golden ticket, the police officer told us to find our, uh, well, required documents at that, uh, well, illegal dude. The mystery orgs is uh, our side quest to confront Seraph back in the apartment, we're gonna have to talk to him as well. And the calibrator is a way to uh, allow us to activate those hidden orgs without the need to disable anything else. So uh, we're first going to do the golden ticket. We're going to meet that document agent. So see you guys there in a second. So I think we're pretty close to where we need to be. Hello, sir? Are you? Huh. What's next? Hello? Hello, sir? Is restricted to you, Orb. Okay, so that's not something we wanted to activate. Meet the document agent. So we need to do this here, but we can't enter the area for some reason. Uh, there's too many of us. Too many sh You really want to leave roundabout now? Used to be an old toy factory, so we need to be inside here. Problem is, how do we do that? 
Um, there's not a house we can enter over there. That might be an option. Hmm. Or we could just jump over there. Let's climb up. And hopefully these guys don't mind that I'm doing that. Let's check out this place as well first. Um, okay. There we go. Another ebook here. Per aspera ad astra, or simply ad astra means through hardships to the stars. We are a community-minded support group established in 2028 by American expatriate Royal Crosby. Our goal is to rebuild the community of man by helping the augmented to reintegrate into our neighborhood. So good guys. Our belief is that through compassion, understanding and respect we will find harmony between the augmented and the naturals. And the peaceful ways that we have been preaching are met with violence. When innocent people are beaten and chained and treated as though they are less than human. When ordinary citizens scorn and spit on the augmented. When all these things happen, we have no choice but to push back. But when we push back, it is with kindness and compassion. With acts, not with action. Okay, so that's another group. So, beer, beer, lots of beer. I'm gonna have to sell that at some point. Or maybe just throw it on the floor. Another computer here. From Bycross. Condolences. Frank, I heard about Thomas. I don't know what to say except that I'm so sorry. I When I heard about the bombing, I never imagined anything like this. I suppose no one ever thinks that someone close to them will be caught up in one of these attacks. Is there anything I can do? We can come into town to take care of little Pyotr. Is that the kid that we've seen... Uh, that lost its his mother in the bombing. You've won. All participants punts were selected. This promotional program takes place annually. To file for your claim, please contact your fiduciary agent. Okay, that's weird. So they won the lottery of some kind. More beer! Indicating that these people are going through a rough patch. Maybe I shouldn't cut them. Maybe I shouldn't uh, turn on the stove. No, no, turn the stove off, consumables, consumables, more consumables, more beer, and then the cabinet, okay, that's too heavy, and I can't open the door over there, so again, another apartment that doesn't seem to have a purpose, except for uh, creating a bit of uh, context. So I wonder if these guys just see me or not, because I wonder if Drahumir would let us set up a second check. Okay. So there's a guy down there. Could probably just take him out. Nope. And that guy over there. Okay. So let's take everything from these guys. Apparently only crafting parts. There doesn't seem to be anyone else here. Because otherwise they would pop up on the map, I suppose. So this is supposed to be an old toy factory. Um, am I doing something wrong by entering here? I'm wondering that. There's a camera up there. And lasers. And I can become invisible to cross that laser, so... Kind of having trouble here. Can I go back the way I came? Okay, so a cult named Drahomir is running one of the shadiest checkpoints. If I want to learn more, it'll be waiting for me by the courtyard behind the apartment building in Preskazka. 
So he's someone over here then. You looking for Oh, this is the document agent. Okay, I just took out two guys for no reason. I'm dumb. I was stopped by someone named Drahomir at a checkpoint. He sent me here. Apparently you help Ogs with documentation, upgrade their permits. You have the money. Uh maybe. Maybe, yeah. Want indeed. To tell me what I'm paying for exactly. You pay to get your name on the list. Melina upstairs. She works on your shiny new permit. You come back in one week to pick it up. Standard pickup fee will. Uh, I don't have a week. How much do you charge people for this? Not people. Ogs. 35,000 credits. Holy shit, that's a lot. You could, uh, 35,000 credits. We can't do that, so, uh. Your buddy said this one was on the house because I'm such a nice guy or confront. You're not even trying, are you? You just blatantly scam Ogs out of as much as you can. You're not even trying, are you? You just blatantly scam Ogs out of as much as you can. You want updated permit or not? Documents are actually pretty good. You'll see. I'm, Trust I me, want to punch your face in. Very talented. These documents, what are they? Stolen? Forged? Invisible? Look, just give me what you have, and I'll put your name on the list. That's how it works. Melina does surprisingly good work. I don't think Puts you get the point, buddy. I'm not gonna pay you. <laughs> Insult, pay 35. Um, sneak around. I think I've heard all I need to about your offer and about your friend upstairs. I'm going to try my chances without the papers for now, or attack. I'm not gonna attack, of course. Uh, insult. So what kind of shiny new permit does this get me? I'm gonna sneak around. I think I've heard all I need to about your offer and about your friend upstairs. I'm gonna try my chances without the papers for now. Suit yourself. Only a matter of time before they come knocking at night. So I was accidentally right to uh, already start going up there. Business. Meet the document agent complete and now we need to confront the forger upstairs. Uh, so I'm gonna take the same route of course. Because we already took out those two guys. Might have started with that of course but uh... There we go. What was that? Ah, that was for the Icarus landing, uh, probably. <laughs> I'm always so spooked about that message popping up. So those two guys are knocked out cold. This place was also... Well... Unbreachable for me, because... Well, the camera is taking care of everything. And I don't really have... Except... Maybe a stun gun works. What is stun gun? Ooh. And it's silenced. I, c I can also use my crafting parts, by the way, to upgrade my weapons, I think. So if I hold that, can I make... Oh. I can use pistol EMP ammo. So if I equip that... Oh, I don't have EMP ammo. Fuck. Fuck's sake. Um... Hmm. Maybe try just using the stun gun then. Oh shit. That's not good. That's not good. Oh shit. That was not a good idea. So apparently shooting the camera with your stun gun doesn't work. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna let myself die here. Refresh. Hello. Hello. Yeah, thank you. Take him to the furnace. So, uh, you learn something new every day. So let's get back up. And try to not shoot the camera with the stun gun this time. There's a vent over here. Don't know where that's gonna lead me. Ooh, but this might have the code for that gate. 
How many times must I tell you to stop changing the codes? Konaki and Raki is my mother's legacy. We may not use it for toys anymore, but we still use it and mother's codes must never change. The code to the locker on the right must be 1998, the year mother invented Propeller Frog Boy. Okay. 1998, there's another pocket secretary over here. There we go. Drahomir says Milena tried to sneak out again last night. Everyone keep eyes on that vent of hers. She's got too much work to do to be allowed to leave whenever she wants. So... Okay. So that gives us a bit of information. She clearly has a vent that leads towards her office. More crafting parts. Great. But now we also have the right storage case. So that must be this one. So let's use the keypad and use 1998. There we go. Okay, that's much more sneaky. So open the storage door. Yeah, and there's a vent. Okay, that's great. So now we're on track. Quickly gonna check around for more items. What's this? A terminal that's locked. Huh. Okay. Maybe we'll find that later on. Let's open the vent and head in. There's nothing below here. And there's Milena. Is there a camera in her room? Because it doesn't look like it. I know she's right over there. I haven't missed that. I'm first going to quickly look around in her uh, dresser, so take that pistol, so she won't be able... Ooh, pistol EMP ammo. Oh yeah. Let's can check out this place. Oop, that was... <laughs> then I started jumping. Uh, so that's all there is to it here, probably. So hello, Milena. Hi. I hope you're not Edward Broad. Because you don't look at all like the picture. Yes, I don't. You no, I don't. Tell me what's going on here? Arts and crafts? Arts and crafts, yeah. I think you yeah. work for those scam artists out there. Or do they work for you? It was never meant to be a scam. More like uh, social services for the disaffected. You know, like no og left behind. Looks like oh. a forgery ring to me. I hate the word forgery. I prefer graphic arts activism. I helped Sounds like a nice term for it. To be other people. <coughs> and seriously, try getting anywhere with forgery on your resume. You're involved Good point. in something that takes advantage of people, and you're worried about your resume? I think she's forced. That, that may have come out wrong. I mean, yes, career is important, but it's not everything. I know that. I, t I tend to get really nervous when I'm stressed. I, I mean, I, I'm stressed when... Which always just makes things worse. Oh, okay, look. I have no reason to be nervous here, do I? You're totally on my side, right? One of the good guys. Not like Drahomir. No, we are. Our friends are out there intimidated. But we kind of we kind of saw in the uh, the note we found that they force her to stay here because she tried to get out before. So we're gonna reassure her for now. I'm not here to make you nervous. I just need you to explain it to me. The essentials of what's been going on here. Essentials, right. Essentially, I was trying to help my augmented friends. The way I saw it out there, the promise of fake documents was being used to extort people. How does that help them? The extortion part sucks. I swear to you, I'm totally anti-extortion. Obviously. Let me explain better. As the government, they print up these official permits each month, but they only sell them to the rich corporate and military allies. Meanwhile, the other orgs, they get kettled out of the city because their documents aren't up to date enough. That's what was happening to my friends. Okay. Uh, that's what we've seen happening around here as well, so uh, let's reassure her again. Government corruption versus organized crime, and regular people get caught in the middle. You gotta love the classics. When it was just me, I didn't charge anyone. But then Drahomir shows up and turns it into this big operation with fake checkpoints and ridiculous fees. I didn't want anything to do with that. 
So Drahimir the cop is the one that uh, is uh, behind everything here. I was scared. Drahumir said he would kill me. Looked at me kind of like you're looking at me now. You're not going to kill me, are you? Uh, what do you of think? course not. I'm not sure yet. Look, the real problem is Drahomir and that checkpoint of his. Without him in the picture, the rest of them couldn't run a lemonade stand. Maybe you could... You know... What, take out that checkpoint? You think I just walk around shooting people? Don't you? <laughs> I like knowing there are other options. Okay, so stab him, scare him. Or get the police to do their job for once. So he's I not real that police. I mentioning this cop who threatened him. She was hanging around his checkpoint. Who knows? Maybe there really is one good cop in Prague. Okay. That sounds like the safest bet. Smooth operator. Otherwise you're asking me to pick a fight with a bunch of guys in uniforms. Scam artists or not. The whole city would come down on you. Still, up to you how you want to handle it. Right. Well, uh, I think so that's clear. obvious. We're gonna you try to contact to that other cop. Documents now. I don't like getting into trouble. And even worse is other people suffering because of me. No more faking documents ever again. Hopefully she doesn't get killed for Unless that. Unless someone really, really needed one. Then I'd probably do it. <laughs> I mean, if we knew for a fact that we could help someone, we should do whatever we can, right? Ignore. <laughs> I think it's time to get you away from that forging equipment. Inquire. Depends on what you have in mind, indeed. It depends what you have in mind. The docs I make, they really can fool the authorities. Sort of. But sort of. They can be used for bad Rahum things as well. flooded the streets with forgeries. So the city started tracking more, adding scanners, validation numbers. Now, unless one of my permits gets activated in the city database, it's just plastic. So you're telling me these people pay for forgeries and then probably get deported anyway? It doesn't have to be that way. I have two permits that I literally just made. And I think we can really help these people. If you're willing. Um, I want to help, but uh, are you sure these guys are okay? All right, how do we help? Their names are Edward Broad and Irenka Bauer. Drahomir was going to charge them like 20 more times. But maybe you could just give them the forgeries? Early Christmas present? We could. You said it's just plastic, that people get deported anyway. How does this help them? I think I know how to get them activated. As long as you're willing to follow through. This sounds like a lot of work. All right. I'll go meet Edward and Irenka. In the meantime, are you going to be okay here? Once they learn that Drahomir's been taken care of, the others will leave me alone. He's the one I'm scared of. Okay, so we need to take care of By Drahomir the way, first. By safe over there where they keep their money. I'll give you the code. 2489. Feel free to help yourself. 2489, okay. Where thanks. you? Way ahead of you. 2489. That's great. So I don't think there's anything else we can take here. That's the same newspaper we found at Colors. Yeah, indeed. Uh, so nothing else here. Maybe that. Ooh, there's an ebook right here. We are the most technologically advanced generation in history. At an individual level, we have successfully integrated the best of this new technology into our bodies and into our lives. At a communal level, however, many of us feel out of place in our surroundings. The cities we inhabit are, at best, repositories of old architecture and old prejudice that no longer match our potential or our needs. At worst, they feel openly hostile to what we have become. Augmented citizens across the globe recognize the, new, the need for a new kind of city. We need a new capital of progress that isn't held back by all data design modules and cynical political institutions. We need a pla place like Rabia, an accessible, progressive, eco-friendly metropolis shining like a beacon in the plains of Oman. It may sound like a utopic fantasy, but Rabia is not a city born of dreams. Rabia has been conceived and constructed by the Santo Group out of necessity. It is a place our generation needs. It is a city designed for you, as we've heard that al of that place already. A city built for augmented people alone. Uh, button turn off. I'm not gonna fum fumble with that. Uh, so we'll try and get out again. 
Can we check out these cards? Well, there's not really much to see here. So let's go back through the vents and get back out. So there's a safe. This is the safe she was talking about. So two, four, eight, nine, two, four, eight, nine. Thank you. Uh, unlock. And let's use the terminal. Um, okay. So it's unlocked. Do I just open? Okay, there we go. I think we can just. Ooh, frag grenades. And credit chips. Ooh. So that's fine for now. So let's head out again. And, uh. I could head out here, right? Oh, over here. Through the garbage can. And then over there. Okay. And we're out again. There we go. So, I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a toll to subscribe to my channel. Because I really appreciate any support you can give me. So, uh, thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye. Next time on Deus Ex Mankind Divided. You just walked up to a police officer. And I have this funny feeling you expect something good to come out of it. I recently got stopped at a fake checkpoint. Draumir, he's a slippery fuck. Fuck it. Draumir has been pulling this shit for long enough, and I'm sick of being told to ignore it. Oh, I wanna watch this.